Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, all praises and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakai Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who rule well. And peace, love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ratazah. You know, what I'm about to say through the Holy Spirit is edifying unto the ears of the elect. You know, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for opening our understanding. You know, for allowing us to receive the Holy Spirit after we've repented and believed upon Yahweh Shai and to receive this gospel, you know, this good news. Which through this good news, we preach Yahweh Shai. And we preach that Yahweh Shai is our Lord and Savior, you know, that He's, you know, our medicine, you know, He's health into the body of Israel. He's the physician. Uh, we have healings through Him. You know, you can be healed through your faith. And oftentimes you read through the gospel in which an individual was sick with something, you know, or plagued with something or had a demon. And Yahweh Shai would say to that believer, that believe go thy way for thy faith has made thee whole. All right, what you are going to visually see is that Jake doesn't have faith. All right, there's only a select few that has faith, but for the most part, the majority of Jake does not have any faith. And what's funny is you would explain to them what the mark of the beast is. <clears throat> you would explain to them what a Maxine can do unto you if you receive any of that. But then they'll come with the, uh, uh, where's the scientific proof for, you know, believing Esau and never asking Esau, you know, for any science, never asking him for any proof. All right, the so called white man doesn't have. To prove a goddamn thing to you. All he has to do is just say so and it is. You know, to say to do this and that's what it is. Alright, and a lot of you people that say that you're Israelites, you know, you Christians and all of you. You're in the same mind state when it comes down to, you know, this ordeal and what's playing out in the earth. And really it's because you don't want to let go of this world. All right, you believe that you can serve the Lord and also bow down to the image of Baal, but you can't do this both. All right, what we're experiencing right now is a test of all of our faith. And unless you hold the true testimony of Yahweh Shai and you truly have faith, all right, you won't overcome. And a lot of Jakes don't have faith. All right, here it is. They'll question you when you give, you know, scriptures and precepts saying not to make a covenant with Esau, Edom, not to allow him to pierce you or right, put his Maxine inside of you, not to receive his RFID chip. But they never question the devil in the regard of why he is doing the agenda that he's doing, why he wants to use them first, why he wants to put anything inside of them, what's inside of it. They never question that. So you Jakes are blinded, you know, and you don't have any faith. All right. And the God of this world has blinded you. All right. Esau Edom has blinded your mind from receiving this glorious gospel. And according to this gospel, Yahweh Shai can heal you. All right. If you have faith. But all men do not have faith. A second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, verse three says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So here it is. We're explaining and giving proof. You know, but yet what we're saying through the Holy Spirit is not good enough for them. And the reason why is because 
they're mentally blinded. They can't see. All right, and the only way for you to see is to see through faith. And they don't have faith. The word for blinded, the word there is typhlo. And it says to bind, blind, make blind. In the New Testament metaphor, to blunt the mental discernment, darken the mind. So their minds are darkened to the point where they can't see. And really, it's Yahweh Bashim Awashai that has blinded them from being able to see, from not being able to receive this wisdom, this knowledge and understanding, this gospel, which if you believe in it, all right, it is able to save your soul. In Matthew, the 13th chapter, verse 10, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever have to him it, it shall be given, and he shall have more in a, more abundance. But whosoever have not for him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because seeing they see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith. By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. So the prophets are making it plain unto you. And as it states within Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter, in verse 20, all right, you're supposed to believe the prophets, man. All right, you're supposed to believe the prophets. Are the ones that are coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Mashad, but instead of believing them, you believe Esau, and Esau doesn't have to prove a goddamn thing to you. Here it is, we'll show you out of the gospel. We'll show you out of the good news, out of the book, out of the volume of the book. All right, out of the testimony of Yahweh, which is the spirit of prophecy. All right, why you shouldn't make a covenant with this man, why you shouldn't trust him, why you shouldn't take his Maxine. But yet Jake was still taken. So what does that mean at the end of the day? That means that they're mentally blind. It means that they're that mentally their discernment is darkened. And what is discernment? All right. What is discernment? Let's let's go to the definition of discernment. The ability to judge well. In Christian context, perception in the absence of judgment with a view to obtaining spiritual guidance and understanding. So your ability to understand, you know, your ability to make sound judgment is darkened. Which if you in your right mind, knowing the history of Esau, Edom, and the things that they have done unto you. All right. If you knew the scriptures and you were able to discern them, you would know that this man is an enemy to all, all things that have life. You would know that he's an enemy of Israel. All right, in his agenda from the beginning, since his forefathers lost it, lost the birthright, was to cut off the seed of the house of Israel. So this has been their agenda. They have kept their anger forever. So why in the fuck would this man at this moment have a change of heart and now want to save you? To stop a, a so-called disease from spreading. All right, he's the one that put that disease out there to begin with. So that there will be a reaction. And once there is a reaction, there will be a solution. And the solution is to give you something that's going to alter your DNA, stop your God gene, and put nanoparticles inside of you. So that this man could, you know, have you under his control in, in, in slavery. And tried to kill you, to wipe you out. But you refuse to believe what the prophets are saying. And you can't comprehend and understand because your minds are darkened. You are blinded. Second Chronicles 20 and 20. And they arose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in Yahweh, your power, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. All right, but you Jakes aren't going to prosper. 
because you don't believe in the holy prophets that are warning you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai against the enemy. But your minds are darkened. All right, the God of this world has blinded you in the mind. All right, you are deceived. All right, you are deceived. All right, and you don't have any faith. And that's the reason that you Jakes will not prosper. So a lot of you Israelites are going to be destroyed. And there's no easy way to say that, you know. And that sentence alone can stir up a lot of emotion. The fact that you won't listen. The fact that you won't listen is the reason that you'll be destroyed. Because if you if you would listen, then that means that you can hear, which means that you repent. Deuteronomy 32 and 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them and I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. And when you look up the word forward, the word there is perverse. It means of a person or their actions showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to have in a way that is unreasonable and or unacceptable, often in spite of the consequences. Contrary to the accepted or expected standard or practice of a verdict against the weight of evidence or direction of the judge on the point of law. See now, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is showing you the right direction, all right, through his holy prophets. But you being perverse, all right, you were not listening to the prophets, all right, because you don't have any faith. So you're trying to go your own way. And really, it's not your own way, all right? You're following the way of Esau, Edom, which is going to lead you to destruction because he is set up, all right, to deceive you. Revelations 19 and 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophets that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worship his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the word therefore deceived is planao. And it says to cause the stray, to lead astray, lead aside from the right way. To go astray, wander, wrong, metaphor, lead away from the truth, lead to, into error, to deceive, to be led into error, to be led aside from the path of virtue, to go astray, to sin, to sever or fall away from the truth of heretics, or to be led away into error and sin. And this is what Esau is doing. All right, see, he got you, all right, believing that he can offer you our deliverance he can offer you everlasting life he can offer you salvation he can offer you health all right by way of altering your genes altering your dna all right taking out sicknesses and diseases all right through his science man all right but he's not yahweh shy man only yahweh shy can offer you everlasting life all right esau can't offer you that this is uh, John, the sixth chapter, verse 47. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me have everlasting life. You know, he that believeth on me have everlasting life. All right. And Esau is gene splicing, gene editing, you know, taking out things and putting in, you know, giving you vaccines. He's trying to merge. All right human dna with machines and you know all of these things man all right but he, esau can't heal you all right he can't give you salvation he can't give you deliverance he can't give you everlasting life all right only our lord and savior yahweh shai can do this all right but if you tell someone to have faith in yahweh shai and that eventually yahweh shai is going to deliver you from all of this all right, and hold fast into the gospel. All right, they don't want to receive that. All right, that's too simple of an answer. All right, but it has to be, you know, something scientific. All right, only Esau can deliver you from what's going on right now. All right, the Lord can't do a goddamn thing, right? All right, and that's the reason why you people are going to be destroyed. 
because you have no faith. Hey, the scriptures say within the book of uh, Hebrews, the 11th chapter in the 6th verse, it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. All right, for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right, and without faith, it's impossible for you to overcome. All right, those that are going to be delivered, they're going to be delivered by what? And, and for what reason? Because of their faith and good works. All right, and you niggas' works are evil, man. All right, you Jake's, all you know is violence. All you know is talking shit, you know, against the men of the Lord and prophets. All right, you don't truly believe in Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. You know, for you Christians in the world, you know, the one whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, you don't truly believe in him. All right. You believe in Esau more than you believe in the, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. All right. But those that believe in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you're going to overcome. And the way that you're going to overcome is by this. Second Ezra 9 and 7, and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in the land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them are for me from the beginning. And part of the perils and the dangers is this disease that Esau has put out there. All right, which you're going to get one Maxine, and then after you get two dosages, he's going to say it mutated, all right, into something else. So now you got to get two more dosages. All right, this devil is unreasonable. All right, he doesn't make sense. But yet you niggas are just following whatever he says blindly, which goes to show you that the, the poor man poor man's wisdom is despised man all right when a when a poor man speak all right his wisdom is despised like it says right here in Sirach 30 13 and 22 when a rich man is fallen he hath many helpers and speak of things not to be spoken and yet men justify him all right the poor man slipped and yet they rebuke him too he spake wisely uh, and could have no place. When rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. They extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. So here it is, although we're speaking wisdom, all right, because we're speaking according to the gospel, you don't believe us, even though it's right there in the same word that you claim that you believe. But when Esau speak, he speak according to his science. All right. And, and oftentimes he doesn't even give you statistics. He just say that you should, do, you should do something and you people blindly fucking do it. Why? Because at the end of the day, you're blinded. All right. By the God of this world. And you don't believe in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. Or, or their names according to what the world called them. God or the one whom the world only calls Jesus Christ. You don't believe in the God of the Bible. All right. That's the reason why you put what this devil says above what the scriptures say. All right. Because at the end of the day, you don't have faith. So because you don't have faith, you won't be saved and you won't be delivered from these sad perils that's getting ready to come upon this place, man. All right. You're going to be destroyed right in here for the lack of faith. So with that, I hope that this was edifying. Until the next time, a shalom.